no hive. I didn't see you come in. First off, this is a great beer. It's Pilsner. And if you wonder how I get it so clear, be sure to watch my video on using gelatin to clarify your beer. Now my channel is called Home Brewing Tips. And I try to include tips, ideas, product reviews on things that will help you in all your brewing processes. One of the things that we have to do a lot of is cleaning. And a lot of what the brewing process does is create things that are hard to clean. Right here in this very location, I did a video some time ago reviewing PBW, OxyClean, Barkeeper's Friend, A+, all good products in my mind, and kind of showed what you know the various strengths and weaknesses were of all those. Well, I have a new product I want to share with you today. It's one I think is maybe the best. Sodium percarbonate. And I believe that sodium percarbonate is the active ingredient in PBW. And why I like it is very effective, inexpensive, and it does a great job. In fact, it's what I use more than not anymore in all my cleaning. And so today to emphasize and demonstrate this, I'm not going to clean brewing equipment. I'm going to clean some of the coffee making equipment that I've got. Your coffee maker has a way of building up a, a crust. It's sort of like beer stone on your, on your brewing equipment. Extremely hard to clean. And oftentimes too, hard to reach places. So you clean that. I've got an old uh, stainless steel coffee cup and clean that as well. And when I say clean it, I'm going to clean it through just letting it soak overnight. And not just soak overnight, but I'm going to soak it in this sodium percarbonate mixture that I used to clean my last yeast starter with. And so it's been used once, it's been sitting around already for a couple days. I'm going to simply warm it up, use the same stuff to clean all this and really show how effective it is even on the second run. As long as I clean stuff, I figure I've got this old canning jar that's got who knows what, some kind of algae or some damn uh, stuff in it. It's got some uh, calcified I don't know, minerals or something around the edge of it. I've got the lid to my coffee cup. I just throw them all in a in a container, let them soak overnight, wipe them down, rinse them off, and share the results with you tomorrow. So it should be interesting. And again, the whole point of my, my channel here is to give little ideas that might help simplify your brewing life. So here we go. Let's clean some stuff. So here's a closer up shot of what we're going to be cleaning. You can see that coffee maker has that caked on coffee. The cup, again, just that buildup. I don't know why coffee does that, but it is impossible to clean. Then we have this guy. God, who knows what is in that. And again with the coffee maker. And that stuff just will not come off. So I'll start with my used sodium percarbonate. In the flask there, I'm probably going to warm it up just a little bit. It seems like the heat does activate it. I'm not going to boil it. I'll just get it a little warmer. Okay, it's Sunday morning. I just left these things soaking overnight. And so we'll go ahead and take them out. I'll rinse them out, wipe them down, and then show you the after photos. And we'll see how we did. Okay, so here's the results. And as I thought, pretty darn good. Here's the coffee maker. You can see that caked on burnt on coffee is gone. Let's look at the inside of that glass. The old travel cup never looks so good. 
Let's see if I can get it. Beautifully clean. It's lid as well. The glass jar. All that stuff easily taken right out. And then I also included that pipette, which I used to take the beer samples with. And of course, nothing's going to get into it to clean up. But the sodium percarbonate did its job. There you go.